Hello, Spartan Cat here, and in today's Battle Cats video, I'm ranking all the special legend units in my second ranking video, so this is a part two. If you want to check out the first one, go ahead, but this one is going to cover more units, and I'm going to revise some of my original rankings that I feel are not good. I just feel like I did a bad job ranking some of those last units, and I left half the units out of my last list, so I'm doing another video on it to cover it. So... If you have any questions or comments make sure to leave them down below in the comment section and if you enjoy the video or the channel please make sure to like subscribe turn on notifications and leave a comment down below now let's get into our first unit which is going to be master Uril. and you know he's pretty decent um i don't think he's a great unit but i don't think he's a bad unit either so i'm going to give him some of the upper c tier because i feel once you beat level f stage 50 on heavenly tower then you're going to be at end game and you're going to be in almost every stage you're going to have a lot of good units a lot of true forms so not that he's a bad unit necessarily but if you got him earlier game he'd be ranked higher second unit elder mask duran um he's a very good rusher so in some stages you could bring him in he's like awakened but awakened bahama cat you just send him in he'll debuff everybody um, he's a kamikaze, but he doesn't do a lot of damage. You just throw him in and he debuffs everybody. And I feel like he's a pretty solid unit once you get to that part of the game because there aren't a lot of units that do what he does. So because he's unique, I'm going to give him B tier. Number three, we have Elder Beast Nawa. And um, she's pretty good. Her stats are good, but once again, you get her end game and, you know, once you get to end game, these units become less useful because you'll have more. So I'm going to give her some of the low B tier. Number four, we have Gigando, which is one of the newer units to come out. Same with the last couple. Uh, Gigando, he's he has a, some pretty heavy stats. If he hits his um, if he hits his surge waves, then he'll do a lot of damage. So I feel the potential is there, but he does get partially outclassed by Shadow Gal against the traitless enemies. So, um, four star stages, though, I mean, you can't bring Shadow Gal into those. So, I'm going to, for that and his base stats, I'm going to give him somewhere in the middle of the B tier because he's he has the strong stats. He has pretty strong stats. It's just you're not going to always be able to use them. Number five on the on my list, we have um, IDI N2, his evolved form. And he has higher DPS against relic enemies and awaken bahamut cat which is pretty impressive because awaken bahamut cat obviously has one of the highest dps's in the game so against relics but taking everything into account i'm gonna give him somewhere in the high b tier maybe middle of the b tier because you're not gonna always be able to use him in non-relic settings He's, he still has decent stats in non-relic settings, but the massive damage really gives him the lift from Bahamut Cat. They could be used interchangeably or in the same deck. So, I feel like he's a solid rusher. You don't see a lot of them in the game, so he deserves a solid B tier. Good unit. Next on the list, Hermit Cat. So, you got a mid-game. He's alright. His stats aren't bad. But most players, like myself, I use Crazed Legs Cat. Is Macho Lake's cat and Hermit Cat in four star stages? He can get the job done. He has decent stats. He could hit three waves per attack. So if there's a tank in front of a bunch of weaker units, then yeah, he's good. If you bring him in a stage with some metal units, then he could do some damage to the backliners if there's like a mixed stage or something. So I feel he has potential to do a lot of damage, especially wave damage with the waves and everything. So I'll give him a high C tier. But more times than not, you're going to use the 600 cent counterpart of Crazed Macho Legs Cat to deliver the shockwave damage. Next on the list, we have Master Uala, who by the time you get him at stage 40 of Heavenly Tower, is kind of outclassed by Mina. So I'm going to give him somewhere in the middle of C tier, maybe lower C tier, because his base stats aren't that good. But the only thing that he really has is the long range ability. And his standing range is pretty short too, so if you're fighting some. Elephants and longer range units, bears, you might have trouble with him. So I'm going to give him somewhere in the C tier. Next, Awaken Bahamut Cat. 
definitely an S tier. I mean, there's no other unit in the game that can do what he can do to every enemy. He d it's not even that he ha he's strong against a trade or anything. He's just strong damage. The, the damage is unparalleled. Unless if you have lesser demon cat or something like that. Or, you know, you eventually get him to his true form Barlog cat, but few and far between him. Next we have Musashi, who in four star stages is alright, but most people don't use him because he's expensive. He doesn't do a lot of DPS and he has only decent range for a, a backliner, so I'm going to give him somewhere in the high C tier because I feel he's sometimes useful, but you're going to either have an Uber or somebody like Euron Wolf or Lil Neandum in the back doing damage. Mina too, so I feel he's outclassed. I'll put him behind Hermit Cat because I still feel Hermit Cat is more useful than him. Next, Filibuster. Not going to even go into detail. Worst unit on this list. He is a joke of a unit. And I didn't beat Cats of the Cosmos Chapter 3 to get him. I mean, I beat it to progress in the game. Next, we have Cat God. All three forms, he's pretty similar. The gold forms just for looks and for your satisfaction of getting it. So, that's about that. But his stats um, are okay. He does do double gold in his true form, which is shown here. And he has a good amount of range, so in small range situations so when the bases are close together on smaller maps maybe some like crazy tank stages and stuff i feel there he's one of the best units you could use there because he won't get killed with his range and he'll push the units back so you could uh, corner the enemies so that's pretty good but unless if you're playing in a short stage then he's not that great so i'm going to put him in the back of s in the back of c tier because he's really situational speaking of c tiers we have valkyrie who in the earlier parts of the game, when you don't have her true form yet, she's somewhat useful when you can't afford the Ubers and Empire of Cats, and you're fighting through um, Chapter 3 Moon, then you'll probably use her before you get Bahamut Cat. But as soon as you get Bahamut Cat or another Uber, she's almost useless. I mean, you, d you don't need her. Her stats are weak. Uh, she doesn't have a ton of range, and she gets herself killed a lot. So I'm going to give her... Um, only because she's useful in early game, I'm going to give her somewhere closer to the middle of C tier. Because when you don't have a better unit, you're probably more likely than not going to use her because it's what you have. So she's useful for a small part of the game. That one chapter you have her without Bahamut Cat. One of the better units on this list, we have Crimson Mina, who I feel personally deserves somewhere in the, we'll say, high B tier. I would even make a case that she's all the way up there. I'll change that too. But I feel that um, Mina's a really solid unit when you have her true form. When you don't have her true form, she's a bit worse because she just has worse base stats, less damage, less range. So the true form helps her and kind of gives her the notch and puts her in the upper echelon of legend units. So I feel with the true form, she's a high B, a B plus. Good unit. Uh, Will Neandum, so his true form is shown here, and you know there are times where you need a backliner that doesn't have a blind spot because that's one of the biggest problems with most. That's one of the biggest problems with most backliners is that they have a good amount of range, but they have a blind spot where units can get in and attack them and kill them. Will Neandum doesn't have that. He just has 551 range, no blind spots, nothing to worry about, just long standing range. And he could be useful in some four-star stages because, you know, there aren't a lot of long-range units like him without a blind spot. The unit I would compare him to is almost like, um, almost like a Euron with more range, slower attack. And he's, you know, he's got a good amount of range, and he fits his role all right. He does an all right job fitting his role. So I'll give him, I'll give him a high C or a low, I'm gonna give him a high C tier because. He has some time to shine, and when you don't have those units in the four-star stages that could, you know, backline, when you don't have Matama, when you don't have Kronos, those types of units especially, I feel he's a good substitution, but you're not going to use him in a normal deck. You'll never use him in a normal deck, unless if you really don't have an Uber, but by the time you get him, you'll probably have a dozen Ubers or so, so he's outclassed in normal stages, but in four-star stories of legend stages, he's a starter. 
situational unit, but he's decent. Another really good unit, Euron, and her true form is just it buffs all of her stats. So if you get it, then uh, you're set. And most people, even at the end of the game, they'll still use her because her stats are that good. And she has long range. She could push enemies back. She has a good amount of DPS, and she could survive some hits. So she used to be the first A tier of the day for us. Urs and Fenner's her, uh, her Uncanny Legends counterpart that you'll get later in the game after her. Um, base stats are decently similar. They're around the same, but no true form for Urs. Um, Urs, you, the, because of the time you get Urs in the game, she's not going to be so, super useful. But having two Eurons in one stage is kind of OP. So I'm going to give her somewhere in the low B tier because her stats are still similar to Euron Wolf, but it's mostly the time that you get her that separates the two of them. Euron you get earlier in the game, so you have a lot more time to use her, and she'll help carry you through Stories of Legends so you can get to Urz and Uncanny Legends. Dagamaru, you know, for being a tanker, he has a decent amount of damage. He has some range, but long range and tank, it's, it's a decent combination, but why? And some of the best units in the game have a lot of health, and they're just not that good. Um, I mean, you don't need all the range or all the health if you're going to stand 400 range back. And Dagamaru is like a backliner, but he tanks. He kind of reminds me of Babel, um, the legend rare. Not the legend unit, but the legend rare. Um, so Dagamaru, he could be pretty useful. He has a lot of health. I'm going to put him in the lower B tier. Also, I'm going to revise my list. I'm going to put Neandam in the lower B tier as well. I feel like he deserves it. Um, I'll also put Hermit in the lower B tier. He's not a bad unit, but he's not amazing. And last but not least, Mechabun, who will go in front of Filibuster, but not by much. I mean, Mechabun, who uses Mechabun? Especially once you get to Uncanny Legends, you have so many better options to use. I mean, just use Awaken Bahamut Cap. It's that simple. I mean... Mechabon looks really cool, and he's a nice collector's item, but even in four-star stages, you're probably not going to equip him because his stats are just too low. Even in his true form with the health buff and the damage buff and everything, the health doesn't help him. He gets fried. Relic enemies do a lot of damage. So this is my tier list. If you guys agree, let me know down in the comment section below. If you disagree, tell me what you would have done. And once again, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications above so you stay posted. Spartan Cat signing off. Hope you enjoyed. See you in the next one.